Did you know that music and science go hand in hand? You can't have music without science. We're going to see that in today's experiment using just glass jars, water, and a metal spoon. We're going to see that something as simple as the amount of water in a jar can change sound vibrations, which can change the pitch of the vibrations, which makes music. Let's get started. For this experiment, you will need four glass jars. Make sure that each of the jars are the same size. You will also need a metal spoon and a jar of water. The first thing that you're going to do is fill each cup with a little bit of water. Each cup should have a different amount of water. Start with a little bit and slowly add more to each jar. It is important when you do this that the jars are not touching each other. Next, once all your jars are full, we have a little bit of water, about half full, three-fourths full, and all the way full. Once you're ready, you're going to grab your metal spoon and you are going to lightly tap each of the jars to hear the sound that they make. You'll notice that they make different pitches. We have a high pitch and a low pitch. And then the two in between. What changes this sound? The amount of water in the jars changes the sound that the jar makes when you tap it. This is because the amount of water in the jar changes how the sound inside the jar can vibrate back and forth. With a glass that is completely full of water, there is so much weight and mass in the jar that it has to vibrate through all of that water, creating a low sound. This jar over here, we have hardly any water, so there is plenty of space for the sound to move around quickly and not have to travel through the water. So we have a high sound. Now with these, you can make your own music changing which one you tap and when.